Hey everybody, what's up? Inspired here. In today's video, I will be showing you guys how to install and run the latest version of Ubuntu 11.04 of a USB flash drive that is only required of two gigabytes, nothing more. So basically, you want to head over to Ubuntu.com and 11.4 is the latest version to this date. So just head on over to get Ubuntu simple orange button download and install now um there is a guide on how to do it on the website but um why not just listen to me so uh you want to select the latest version make sure it's 32 bit um really doesn't matter but since this is off of last drive you know 32 bit is recommended and all you want to do is start downloading the 640 something megabyte ISO file. Pretty small for a whole operating system compared to Windows, which is I don't know how big. But um, they'll download, and you're also going to need a second program called a universal USB installer. Um, I'll have that the download to that in the description of this video. Um, and basically what you want to do is when you want when you put your USB inside of your computer make sure to not take it out whatsoever so make sure you put it somewhere reliable and somewhere where um, it won't be bothered by anything and you want to make a new folder wherever it might be and you want to transfer everything from the USB drive onto um, the folder here and that's what I did and so my USB drive was clear. And now what you want to do is you want to open up the universal USB installer. And you should have your Ubuntu ISO on your desktop. Select run. Uh, select I agree. All right. Now you want to uh, click this drop down menu and select the latest version of Ubuntu 11.04 or the one you have downloaded. And then it should say it found it on um, the ISO. If it's on your desktop, if it's not, just um, select the browse button and look for it wherever it is. Now, make sure you don't get confused here. You want to go to your computer and where your USB drive is, which is mine's is in K. Um, you want to make sure you select that and it will give you a warning because um, if it's not the right one, I guess something will happen or whatever. But um. Yours won't look like this in Storm Boom 2 because it'll be clear. Make sure you select uh, the one that your USB drive is in. Mine's is in K. Um, for this file size storage thingies, just leave it at zero and select create. And that'll take um, about two minutes depending on your computer's processor. But it took about two minutes for me. And. Um, I'm going to get on my camera right now and I'm going to show you basically what to do from here. So now to step. Alright, so once everything is done and the um, ISO file right there is on your USB over there. What you want to do is um, make sure you keep your USB inside of your desktop so you see is there or whatever. You want to keep it in there so don't take it out no matter what now what you have to do since um everything is installed now let me close Camtasia here so you want to restart your computer and you want to enter your boot up menu when your bio shows up so for me that's F12 so when the gateway logo comes up I have to press F12 obviously it might be different for other computers but um it's normally f12 so my monitor is a mess all right press f12 and then it should take you to the um, boot screen well not really but what to boot from and then it says please select boot device you want to select usb flash memory because all the other ones are readers you select that, press enter, and then um, select run Ubuntu from this USB. And then all this stuff should come up. Don't get scared. That just gives it um, the thing to run through the USB. 
and then you should get this. Let's see. Here. Wait for a little bit. It doesn't take too long. All right, and once it boots up, um, you're ready to go. Uh, I did customize it a little bit, but this is a uh, full Ubuntu. Um, you do get about a gig of space left on your USB drive. You can use that for applications or whatnot. But um, here's the full thing, and this is what it will look like on your computer. Uh, just to see, it really is Ubuntu downloaded. Um, this what is it can't find it now well, anyways um some stuff just to make it um a little bit more customized or whatever and this is the latest version and then um you have an example folder and the option to install it permanently in your computer and just to open firefox I'm running a little bit slow because it just booted it up but um it's really fast and if I go ahead on to youtube.com .com uh, oh, okay I get what will happen now so basically when you um, turn off your machine and you turn it back on um, everything is deleted so I guess it's just temporary so if you want to run this for a long time I suggest dual booting other than just testing it out um, you can also use this as your permanent operating system. I haven't really got used to it, but um, I don't think I'll be using this as a permanent operating system or a replacement of Windows 7 because I like Windows 7. But um, I mean, I like it a lot. It's really cool or whatever. And um, part three, well, not part three, but like the third section of the video is just me recording on the actual um, desktop itself. So stay tuned.